I grew up in Laguna Beach, California. I spent a lot of time at the beach. I remember every summer I had to do junior lifeguards, which is awful. You're basically like little kids with six packs because you've been working out all summer. Laguna Beach is a small town. It's like 25,000 people, so pretty small, pretty isolated. She was our first, so she got lots of attention. You know, she was, you know, my boy, my girl. She was pretty tomboyish. She played soccer. She was actually a great athlete. I played soccer all since I was in kindergarten, all the way to the end of high school, and still play tennis. She was always very creative, loved art. She would entertain herself for hours on art projects. She was always into fashion, insisted on dressing herself from a very young age. We would go to Target and she would pick out her own clothes and even if they didn't match, I'd never said anything because it was her choice. I loved clothes and I loved making things and I used to sew with my little tiny sewing machine. Um, so just from a very young age, it was just what I wanted to do and because I'm stubborn, no one could tell me differently. <laughs> The first time I can remember being aware of drug use around me is as early as, as sixth or seventh grade. In the beginning, I didn't really understand. I think that I was just still very young and didn't understand exactly what drugs were. I think drugs are a problem everywhere. Yeah, I think there was a lot of, of drug use at the high school. The schools do their best to counter that and educate the parents and the kids but it's still used. She had some pretty close friends that were, you know, we knew were using drugs and, you know, we talked to her about it. There was just this group of kids who just did drugs all the time and everyone knew it and you're getting ready to go to college within a few years and you're worried about your GPA and, you know, worried about your future and I think that when you're so involved in drugs, you have such a lack of interest there and you just don't really care about your future. I think it's important for everybody to have a passion, and Lauren has always had a passion for fashion and design. It's been so important to her. After I graduated high school, I moved to San Francisco for a little while, went to the Academy of Art University there. Then I moved back and decided to move to LA to go to FITM. And once I got into LA, I wasn't just you know, going to college, I was also involved in the entertainment industry. And I think that that was a point where I saw drug use at a whole new level. It's just higher stakes. When you're in high school and you, know, you slip up and you get into drugs, you know, your grades drop, and that's awful. But when you're in Hollywood and you get into drugs and you don't show up for your call time and it gets out there that you're getting into bad things, like, that's your career, you know? That's your future. It's sad that people come and they have this bright future and they're so talented and it's just, it's the same story over and over and over and people don't really learn from it. I don't know if there was one specific thing that you know, encouraged me not to do drugs. I just genuinely didn't want to do them. I just, they didn't seem that cool to me and they didn't look that fun. So I just never really had an interest. Even when I started filming the first show, I knew that my end goal was to end up in the fashion industry. I knew that I wanted a clothing line. I wanted to be involved with design. So. Through the show, I, I made a lot of relationships that helped me out until I kind of reached a point where it made sense to do and I was able to do my first line. With fashion, it was just ever since I was little, this is what I want to do, this is what I'm going to do. Writing was an unexpected opportunity, so that was something where we got into it and then I was like, I really love doing this. And then it came to the time where the book was released and, you know, nobody really knew what to expect and then, you know, in that first week when I got the call that it was a number one bestseller, like, that's just not something you expect. My name is Lauren Conrad and my natural high is getting to design beautiful clothing.